Okay, welcome back to another video on my channel. It's your teacher, Mr. Lim here. In this video, we're looking at question 33 of the Caring About 2020 trial. On the number plane below, draw the graphs of y equals cosine pi x and y equals 1 minus the absolute value of x for the domain from negative 3 to 3. So the first thing I would do is I'll probably look at this function here, y equals cosine pi of x. Um, I can see that the amplitude is going to be equal to 1 because it, there's an imaginary 1 out there. The period is going to be 2 pi over the coefficient of x, which is pi. So the period is 2. And that should be enough for us to work out how to graph this. Now we are graphing it for this domain from minus 3 to 3. So I'm just going to plot these points in. 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, and 3. Okay. Um, because it's cosine, cosine of 0 is going to be 1. And we know that it has a period of 2. So it's going to be after 2 it's going to come back to exactly where it was. Because the period is um, 1, that means it's going to go down to negative 1. Okay, so how are we going to graph this? I'm going to go towards the right. It needs to come down and then back up. And then back down. Down. Then back up. And then back down. Okay, so that should be enough for us to graph y equals cosine of pi x. So it came up, get it down. Okay, so that's y equals cosine pi x. Now we want to graph y equals 1 minus the absolute value of x. So I'll probably, because I know it's an absolute value, um, I'll probably know that it's a it's going to be in the shape of a v. So I'm just going to do a table of values to make it easier for myself. And I want to go from minus 3 to 3. So I'll just say minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Well, if x is minus 3, the absolute value of that is 3, and 1 minus 3 is minus 2. If x is minus 2, the absolute value of that is 2, and 1 minus 2 is minus 1. If x is minus 1, absolute value that's 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, etc. 0 will be 1, 1 will be 0, 2 will be minus 1, 3 will be minus 2. So that means I'm just going to put some more of these in here. I only need it to go to minus 2. So we've got minus 3, minus 2. I'll do that in a different color, in blue. Minus 3, minus 2 is about there. Minus 2, minus 1. 1, 0. 0, 1. Um, 1, 0. 2, minus 1. And then... 3 minus 2. So it's going to form this V. Mine's not completely accurate, but if you were to use a proper ruler and measure everything out, it's going to get you this V. And that's Y equals 1 minus the absolute value of X. Okay, hence find the number of solutions of the equation cosine pi of X is equal to 1 minus the absolute value of x in the domain from negative infinity to infinity. So we can see from negative infinity to infinity that this cosine um, curve is just going to keep on going like this, right? And the absolute value function is just going to keep going in this direction, which means it will never um, intersect again after, uh, before minus 3, to the left of minus 3, and to the right of x equals 3. 
So really we are only concerned about where they intersect in the graph that we already drew. So I'm just going to get rid of all of this. The number of solutions means how, how many times do they intersect each other. Well, I'm just going to highlight those points. They intersect each other here. One, two, three, four, and five. So there'll be five solutions.